just split the shell and there is the kernels I guess. The dog days of summer. It's that period of time between the last two weeks of July and the first two weeks of August. It's when it's so hot outside that no man or beast can withstand the strength of the midday sun. It's also called the lazy days of summer, when everything and everyone moves slower, seeking out shade or water to be comfortable and cool. Today I am visiting a place called Marcy Creek State Park and so far it's clearly not a state park and I see no evidence of moss. Well you can feel the humidity in the air in here it's so thick. I'm not sure how far this path goes because there was no trail information about it. What it says was this was a decommissioned state park. We're just walking just to see where this goes. But I'm assuming from here on down it's just going to be the river. And we're just going to keep walking. And I eventually I'll turn around and go back. I didn't turn on my step tracking tool to see how many steps and how many miles I would have walked. Located along the Shadowhoochee River, just outside of Lula, Georgia, Marcy Creek State Park seems to be one of those places that only the locals know about. I walked along the trail for about 1.5 miles and although it ran parallel to the Shadowhoochee River, it never really gave good views of that river. So after a while, I took a detour off of the trail to go down to the riverbank. Ooh, we made it down to the riverbank. This is absolutely amazing. The water is a lot clearer over here. Somebody's home is up there. Go back on that trail and see where this takes us to. After walking along the riverbank, I decided to turn back around and explore the small tributary that emptied into the Shadowhoochee River. As you will see from the video coming up, the water appears to be a lot cleaner in the tributary than in the Shadowhoochee River. I am willing to assume that the rocks and other impediments in the small creek called Marcy Creek filters out a lot of the sediment out of the water as it flows downstream towards the river. One of the first things you would see as we approach Marcy Creek is that there is a boat launch for small watercraft such as stand-up paddle boards, canoes, and boats. Hi. Hi, how are you? Oh. Okay, so this seems to be like a tributary and then there's a river over there, so we're going to try to explore as much as I can. And there definitely is evidence that humans were here, because I can see graffiti on the rocks.
I guess this would be pretty packed on the weekends. I always carry a small folding chair in my vehicle for moments like this. I decided to get it out of my car and set it up right at the boat launch since I had the place to myself. There's a bench here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take advantage of it. This is a lot of peanuts. So they gave you a bag to put the empty shells in. And then, you get this brown bag with a plastic bag on inside of it and on the inside of the plastic bag is the boiled peanuts and this is the peanut and boil in the shell you just split the shell and there is the kernels i guess very good lightly salted I mean, I can also chew the shell as well. Okay, let's see if we can get into the water. See how cold it is. It's cold, not freezing, but cold. The bad thing about the dog days of summer is that we all know that within a few weeks, the kids are going to be back in school, summer will be over, and the fall season will be upon us. And so although this water doesn't look the best, I threw caution to the wind and I got in. We never know which day would be our last. And so we should try to embrace life and live life to the fullest. That's my goal every time I go hiking or exploring. I got in the water. It is very refreshing, especially on a day where it's so humid. I uh, pretty much have this place to myself. So I'm gonna be here hanging out in the water, reading and doing some other stuff. I will see you guys on the next one. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.